Well, welcome back, everybody. Um, this is a live broadcast from the second live birthday um, exhibition, or expo, whatever you want to call it. For those of you wanting to come and visit, is the uh, sim name is SL6B space quantum. That's Q-U-A-N-T-U-M. Our big feature, um, so to speak, at this event is... Um, something called 60 seconds. Um, what we're doing is we're trying to get as many of our visitors here as possible to come up on this stage where I'm standing and record their own personal vision for the uh, future of virtual worlds um, in the space of roughly at least 60 seconds. So they get a couple of um, seconds to introduce themselves and who they are if they want to and then 59 seconds or so to actually concisely um, give us their vision of uh, the future of virtual worlds. We'll be sort of collecting all these together and compiling a kind of little documentary with all these sort of visions spliced together and sort of giving a nice broad spectrum of people's views on what the future of virtual worlds may be. I've also got uh, my colleague Tara here uh, doing the camera work, so I'm not filming myself at the moment, which is a great relief. And uh, we have um, the first few people here ready to do, I hope, um, their 60-second stint. I think we're probably going to start with um, Stuart Wolf, um, our friend from Second Life Podcaster Network. Hello, uh, I am Stuart Wolf of SLPN, and I guess I've got to give 60 seconds to talk about my vision for Virtual Worlds. So, I think in the future we're going to... You know, looking back at some of the stuff we saw earlier at E3 with these new types of um, inputs for gaming, I think we're going to start seeing that for virtual worlds. We're going to have um, all sorts of new ways to interact with um, virtual worlds and end up having this sort of a boyhood dream of, you know, being able to walk around a virtual reality like you're actually in that space and you can barely tell that it's you know, a virtual world, you know, got a monitor in front of you, it seems, it's like hologram powered sort of thing, that's my vision for virtual worlds, and in, in terms of media, um, I think what we're already seeing with uh, podcasting and stuff like Treat TV and Metaverse TV, that's the future of virtual media as well, so that's kind of my uh, vision, sort of, of what I think we're going to see in the future. Hello, my name's Janie Bracken. Um, I've been in life in Second Life for a couple of years now, and I'm actually a virtual reporter. I go around getting stories for CNN and also write on um, Second Life London, um, which is quite interesting. Also, I write for CNN as well. Um, I actually love doing all this, so it's it's not only a hobby, but it's. Um, it's brought out my writing skills as well, which has been tremendous. I've got friends from all around the world that I'd never have met if I hadn't have come into Second Life. And I've got a really nice group of people that I know, and I meet interesting people all the time. Um, the future, I think Second Life is going to be used for education, um, health, uh, business, anything you like, really. Um, it's just the way the whole thing's going. Um, and I think it's going to be it's going to be the future of communication as a whole. Anyway, that's that's my few words. Thank you. There's some really good graphics. You can do lots of things here. Uh, see, I'm dancing here. I can't actually do this in real life because I am uh, paralyzed from the legs down. And this is why I enjoy this game. Okay, well, this is uh, me, Carver, coming to you from Australia. Um, the future of virtual worlds. Well, there's a bit of a problem whereby a lot of people predict that something like Second Life is meant to be the next version of the internet, but basically there are certain problem domains that have been solved by a two-dimensional solution, such as websites, for example, 
and you can't really apply um, a three-dimensional solution to a problem like that, such as uh, Second Life, for example. Um, the technology is quite poor. It's it's fairly useless for um, retrieving information and displaying it in a in a way that's easy to access. However, something like Second Life is uh, quite beneficial to people who basically, um, for whatever reason, uh, are in some way incapable of um, living their their regular life to its full extent, whether they're you know socially awkward or they've got agoraphobia or something like that. Um, or they're, they're really unattractive, or they have low self-esteem, um, Second Life basically gives them a place where they can reinvent themselves and um, live their life out through some kind of fantasy. And basically there's a lot of people like that, so it does have a future in that regard. Thanks for your time. Okay, um, I'm Dooza Dragonesh, and uh, I'm a Metaverse TV, and um, I'm in Second Life. Um, this is virtually the only virtual world that I've really paid much attention to. I've been into the other worlds um, to have a look journalistically, but this is where I prefer to be right now. And uh, next to other virtual worlds, well, the others look a bit shabby, really, next to this. One of the things that I've seen since I've been in here, and that I absolutely glares me in the face and I hope it is the future for virtual worlds and it is completely unused right now is its potential for communication and diplomacy for world diplomacy I have met people from all walks of life in here and I have been exposed to all sorts of things some good some bad but my remaining thought and my utter hope is that this sort of platform can be used for diplomacy. We get to know each other, we get to, we get through the judgments, unless you keep, you know, I've seen evidence here of people not getting through those judgments, but you get through the judgments, you get exposed to other cultures that you wouldn't necessarily travel to. Uh, we have something in common, we have this particular virtual world in common open those platforms towards each other and there is an enormous facility for peace. Oh, that was fun, wasn't it? Uh, it's Alban's Riser here in World again and um, that was the first um, of our 60 second sessions. What we're doing basically is we're sort of grabbing all the avatars that passed by here in Second Life for the sixth birthday celebration and putting them on camera with voice to give their own sort of approximate one minute of um, their personal vision for the future of virtual worlds, um, prophecy, inspiration, whatever you have. And as you saw there, there's a nice uh, variety of uh, themes in uh, what people are saying. There will be a notice board in World here um, in front of the stage. It's just a little script that tells you when the next live session will be. All these clips we're doing actually will be available for replay later. We'll be uh, compiling them into um, a sort of uh, documentary as it goes along, probably. That concludes it for um, this burst. Um, I hope to see you in World here at the um, many events, including ours. And I hope to see you back here for um, all the exciting programs coming up. Bye for now.